Hello YouTube. First of all, we already know what's going on here. I just had a leg day. Um, this is the start of my exams week. Today's April 23rd, I believe. It's Monday and it's literally pouring outside. When I walked to the gym, it looked like it was gonna rain, but now it is absolutely coming down. I'll show you. I don't think you can even tell, but if you look at like a puddle, you can see how much it is pouring. It was crazy to walk home. But so the point of this video is I was really excited because I'm doing a cut, so I'm losing weight, I'm not eating as much calories, yet I still hit a PR on squat at the gym. I got 205 for two, and that's very exciting because the most I've ever gotten before is like 185. So that was really exciting, I was pumped. And I also wanted to mention, sorry, this lighting change is horrible. The other day I woke up, so you guys have seen how I've been doing on this cut. Um, and the other day I was, let's put you down. So the other day I was about one, so when I started this cut, I was 172-ish, and normally I maintain about 170, but I had gone up because I was just eating literally anything. Um, so I lost a couple pounds of water weight pretty quickly, but then once I got to 170, it was really hard to get out of there. So now that I'm in the 160s, I know I'm losing weight a little bit too fast, but I'm also not eating enough calories. Like the past few days, I've been eating like, Besides yesterday, I've been, I ate like 1600 calories the other day and like 18, which is good. But then the day before I was like 16. So obviously I lost weight really quick and I went from 169 to 168 overnight, 0.0 and 0.0, which is obviously a little bit too quick. And I know I can't maintain that. So it's exciting to see that. However, <clears throat> to do a slow, sustainable weight loss, Girls, females normally have about 0.5 to one pound loss per week. And I was doing that in a day. So I know it's a little bit too quick. So the point is that I went from 170, 169, 168 in three days. And so then yesterday I ate like a normal amount of food, about 1800, 1900. Normally I try to stick about 1800 for now but I'm not gonna start myself or anything. But so the point is that this morning I woke up at 168.4 when I was 168.0 yesterday, which can seem kind of like, if you're not meticulous and whatnot, that's like not a big deal. But if you're kind of OCD like me, if I didn't have experience with this already, I would think like, oh no, I need to be eating like 1500 calories to keep losing this weight fast. Like no way, like first of all, you need to eat food, especially if you're working out and you wanna keep having your strength and all that. Um, so the point of this is just saying like, your weight is gonna fluctuate. Some days you're gonna under eat, some days you might overeat depending how you feel and that's totally fine. Like for example, today I kind of overeat in a sense from what I've been eating the past few days. And so then this morning I woke up and I wasn't really hungry. I just had a full, um, these are the water bottles I use. They're the Trimmer brand. So this is 38 ounces. So I had a full one of these with lemon. And then I had a tall iced vanilla latte with almond milk. Um, Cause I knew I was gonna be doing legs and I was just kind of feeling like meh. Like I usually don't like to train without having food in my stomach. So I got that. And by the way, those are only a hundred calories the iced vanilla lattes, the tall version with almond milk from Starbucks. And I don't usually drink coffee. That's a whole nother talk I can do. <laughs> um, I love coffee, like I really love it, but I don't wanna get addicted to it. I don't wanna get the caffeine headaches. Um, caffeine has some other negative side effects on the body and I'm not looking for that. But to go against all of that today, all I've had today, it's about noon. I had that iced coffee to as like a pre-workout and then i just got this smoothie king um coffee high protein smoothie but it has about i was looking up the calories and whatnot it's only 410 calories and it has like here's the nutrition information so 410 calories mm, 37 grams of sugar which is a lot but i think most of that comes from dates the dates that are in there 
Um, 37 grams of sugar is actually a ton. You're only supposed to have like 20 to 25 grams a day. So I've obviously went over that, but again, I don't get Smoothie King all the time. I eat at home almost for every single meal, seven days a week. I would say I eat out maybe once a week nowadays. Um, and it has 31 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, and all that's in it is whey protein which is obviously not vegan, it's dairy. Um, protein blend, cold brew coffee, almonds, non-fat milk, dates, which is where the sugar comes from, and 100% cocoa. So it's really not bad. And this will probably be, I'm going to another kind of balancing. I'm going to Olive Garden with my family tonight to um, celebrate my graduation. I'm about to graduate from college, which is so exciting. But the point is that I'm going to kind of um, like separate space out my calories enough so I can leave a lot of calories for tonight because obviously I'm gonna have breadsticks and like a lot of calorie dense calorically dense calorically dense food I think that's right but so I'm just probably gonna drink this and then I budgeted about 900 or more calories for tonight and if I'm trying to stay at around 17 ish 1700 calories or so a day then i want to keep that out so my iced coffee was 100 calories this is 410 calories and so that's 510 and then if i'm gonna have 900 ish tonight that's already 1400 calories so and i want to leave a little bit of room for if i get hungry for a snack in the middle of the day so that's just kind of like a random like tidbit of knowledge that i thought could be helpful um for some people and i really honestly just wanted to share that i got 205 for squat because i was really pumped and then i figured i'd mention my weight situation and whatnot um you guys will probably i should have mentioned this earlier you guys will probably be seeing these videos kind of like way in advance because I'm actually so right now this is the last week of April and for the whole month of May I will actually be in Europe I bought myself the graduation gift of going to Europe for four weeks to explore and I know a lot of kids do that nowadays after they graduate college at least where I am from so I'm like beyond stoked but the point is that I'll be gone for four weeks I'm not gonna bring my computer I'm I already don't have social media so I'm just really gonna live in the moment and I want to still have these videos uploading while I'm gone I'm also, I don't have like an end date for this cut or anything. I may still try to stay on track as best I can in Europe, but obviously I'm not going to like weigh myself and worry about it because traveling is just a whole nother slew of um, like negative thoughts and things when you're dieting. Like when you go on a long plane ride, you're gonna blow up, bloat up and get, retain a lot of water and things like that. And you don't wanna miss out on experience in Europe that you may only go to once um, because you need to work out or things like that like I may take like a little bit of like a break like a four week break which is not ideal at all but when I come back I can totally just hop right back into it and get back on track because I've done that so many times when I get home from traveling if you guys don't know me in person I'm quite the bit of a traveler and I really enjoy international and domestic travel and things like that I love to see the world but so the point is that I'll be there for four weeks I haven't decided if I'm gonna vlog there or not yet because I won't know anyone on the trip not that I would worry about them judging me or things like that but I again kind of want to live in the moment so I may bring my camera I also don't want to um, like get too much footage and have nowhere to put it and have to bring my computer or another memory card or things like that I haven't decided but I actually might because they're pretty cool vlogs <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna just close this out here I don't know where this clips gonna go and what video or anything but thank you guys for watching I hope you got something out of this vlog and hope you have a great Monday and I will see you guys soon.